So talking about creating a playing space, uh, you want to think about what's in the picture behind you. So if at all possible, you would like to have a blank space behind you. It can be a wall, it can be a door, um, anything in that sort of vein. But I wanted to show you a couple of ways to create some other backgrounds if you want a color or maybe you'd like to make a cheap green screen. So right now I'm in front of a whiteboard in my room and I'm going to turn it into a green screen. So you can see um, I have used a green tablecloth from the Dollar Tree, so a dollar, and I have put it up on the board behind me. So my board has a tack strip at the top. Doo -doo. So I just use tacks. Um, you may be able to use tacks depending on your situation, or perhaps you could use some masking tape. Um, if you use masking tape and you want to take the screen down and put it back up again, I would suggest putting little balls on the back of it because this is from the Dollar Tree and it will rip um, if it's like handled too roughly. So you don't want to like put tape on it and then put it back out again. Okay. So then now it's just a matter of frame framing. If I bring my camera in and I adjust a little bit, now I have green screen completely around me and I can edit and put anything behind me that I want. And if I were to use it for class, then my background that I use in class would be easier to see or it would work better. All right. So what if you want a non-digital background that's not a green screen? Well, also at the Dollar Tree, I found some other tablecloths that I thought might be fun sometime. Um, I have this pink one that I thought would be a fun background and I have this emoji one so I could switch out my background and have a real life background in case for some reason I don't want the digital like you know how you disappear when you move on the digital one stuff like that. I also got this uh, brown wrapping paper with blue stars that I thought would make a pretty background um, from the Dollar Tree so you know various ones I've spent four dollars and some tacks or some masking tape. Now I'm going to show you if you don't have a wall and you'd like to build a wall, I'll show you what one could look like. If you're interested in a freestanding backdrop, I made this one out of PVC pipe that I got from Home Depot. I bought the pieces this morning. It costs $23 for all of the pieces and they cut it for me. I just told them the links that I wanted and they cut it. And I have a tutorial um, in the resources that you can watch how she puts the pieces together. It literally took me less than five minutes, even though I'm short and had to get a chair and stand up on it. Now I'm going to turn it into a green screen. So uh, still using the green tablecloth from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to attach my uh, tablecloths to my backdrop to create the freestanding green screen. I'll be back to show you how it turns out. So I'm using masking tape now. I just happen to have green masking tape. Any color will do. You're not going to see the masking tape. What I did is I went ahead and um, put a piece of masking tape around the back and left the sticky part out um, at intervals, kind of like if you were stitching, like sewing or whatever. Uh, so now I'm just going to put the green screen up and attach the masking tape to it so it'll stay in place. Okay, and now I'm going to have to get up on a ladder and do the top path. I'll be right back. So... Now I've got the top half done and the middle half done. And you know, you can still see the white on the edges and the tape at the top. So it's just a matter of framing at this point. Um, you know, arranging your shot so that all you see in it is your backdrop. Okay, so now you have a freestanding green screen, um, cost about I don't know, $26 or so. You've got $2, two $1 tablecloths, a little bit of masking tape, and then the $24 or so that was for the PVC pipe. So I hope that that was helpful in creating your backdrop.